Welcome guys, it's J-Malt from J-Malt Pickup. We've got uh, Sonny Arvado here with us today. What's going on everybody? So today we want to talk about how to create lasting change. So it's the new year, uh, we're how many weeks in, like two weeks? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to let Sonny kind of give some principles and actionable things to follow in terms of creating change. And then I'm going to kind of discuss how we're working together on a fitness program and how it's being implemented on a practical level. So go ahead. Uh, what's going on everybody, Sonny here, Strength by Sonny, author of, of Tyrants and Tellers. So basically, brief background on myself, I run a site, it's called Strength by Sonny, it's kind of a, a jack of all trades site for men, it's a men's interest site, it talks about everything from obviously health and fitness, uh, professional networking, uh, college, um, outlook on culture, obviously the dating stuff as well, I've dabbled into that as well. Um, but one of the big things, so like JMO said, uh, implementing lasting change. So it's the beginning of the new year. Everybody has a New Year's resolution now. Um, one thing that not only I see, but everyone sees what happens right around this time, um, everybody is committing to change, whether it be fitness, um, having better people in their lives, making more money. Um, they're making these promises to themselves, making these promises to the world. And what happens most of the time, uh, they fail miserably. Now, why is that? The reason why most people fail, they don't actually make lasting change is because they don't actually commit to it. Um, their focus is diverted in many different directions. Um, they're focused on uh, bragging about it to people, getting validation on, on social media. Um, make, you know, usually you see people make these long posts and people like and comment and give them all this support. Um, uh, so they're, they're focused on uh, how they appear rather than on the most important thing, which is winning. If most people were focused on winning, yeah, results. They're more, yeah, they should be focused on results, actual winning. And the way you do that, you have to commit to change. So one of the big things, I would say the number one principle um, that most people, they have to do, which is what J-Mo is doing right now, and I'll talk about it in a second, Committing to change, the number one thing you have to do, you have to surround yourself with people who are in the same boat, meaning that they are also on the same path as you and they're trying to commit to change themselves or they're people who are, uh, you could view them as experts and they already walked that path, they've been on that journey for a long time. Align yourself with those types of people, it's gonna make failure um, far less likely and success almost a guarantee as long as you wanna put the work in. Yeah, I've talked about in other videos, like, if you guys want to get really good at pickup, like in my video about how to, how to get good at pickup, you follow people like me, like Sonny, Jason James, uh, Chris Wild, Alex Filinchek, I mentioned a bunch of those guys, and pretty much nobody else. Like You want to stick with the guys that know what they're doing, that are committed to helping you, that are committed to giving you real value, and you can see it time and time again from all those guys I mentioned, that they're running amazing groups, giving out amazing advice all the time. Um, if you want to get good at business, you find people that are making millions of dollars, and then, you know, not scam you know not people like ty lopez you know those people that are just, that are just kind of like got like a front going on like it says like in ty's videos at the bottom like all his cars are and airplanes are leased and all this shit. Yeah. um but no you find people that are actually making millions and then you kind of pick their brain you try to offer them stuff as well like the way i got good at business i said this i'm very hyper analytical if you teach me this I'll, I'll pick it up pretty quickly and then i'll i'll partner with you and i can add a whole bunch of value to their business so that's exactly what happened they taught me all this stuff that took them years and tons of hours to put in that they also got from other experts. They taught it to me and then I was able to come in and like look at their whole business as like a system, break it all down in flow charts, optimize it, bring in innovations and all this stuff. And then it's now it's like a synergistic relationship and we're, we're partnered. Now with fitness, I've never been jacked, but I've always wanted to be. I, I've made attempts at it in the past. Like I'm an ectomorph, so I don't eat enough, typically when I'm doing these lifting routines. And I also like, I was, I was telling Sonny, cause we're like, pushing the weights up each week mm -hmm. in terms of how much I'm lifting. I was simply going to the gym for like months at a time, a lot of times lifting the same weights. And like, I knew what progressive overload was, but there's just these these key crucial mistakes. And then what happens is like months go by, I don't see enough progress and I just eventually start missing some workouts and then it all just falls apart. Yeah. So this time I'm going straight to the source. You know, we've been good friends for about five years now, but he's put about, how long, about 10 years into I've been involved with the, the world of health and fitness since it was summer of 2006, so almost 12 years now. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you've tried all different types of 
diets and lifting plans. Yeah, I've done I've done everything. Um, I would say so. Two thousand probably from two thousand six to two thousand eight, it was very much a period of trial and error. Um, I wasn't really doing uh, traditional split training. Um, it was pretty much just going there for two hours and treat the gym the gym like my playground and just try different things. And you know, I made impressive gains doing that. Um, just because I was putting the time and the work in. Um, it wasn't optimized? It wasn't optimized. It was right around like 2008 when I started really, you know, hitting my stride as far as implementing the split training and then, oh yeah, you know, getting enough protein and things like that. And, you know, it's just been, it's been going up ever since. Um, you know, there's periods where, you know, you, you know, you hit your plateaus and there's other periods when you try different things out and, you know, that's when you make your gains. Yeah, so like, as soon as I... Uh, we just started this about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. First day we went, we signed up to two different gyms because yeah. they have different types of equipment. Mm -hmm. um, we went to the store, bought a lot of organic, healthy whole foods. Mm -hmm. uh, went to Dick's, got those fucking tight ass. <laughs> what those things called? Yeah, yeah, they uh, the little tight things you wear. Yeah, like the compression shorts. You know, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You obviously you wear them under the sweatpants. You don't want. I mean, some guys they just they just wear that. And you ask me that, you're like, so that's why I went, no, 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 you wear your sweatpants over. I don't want to be like those weird guys that just wear that. Um, no, what else? We got a whole bunch of supplements. And this is all, this is all shit that he's discovered over all these years. Yeah. And you've got, like, on your site, on strength.sunnybuck.com, you have... Strengthbysunny.com. Uh, yeah, you've yeah. got, what, the, a, a solid diet plan, a solid workout plan. Yeah, yeah, and we'll have the, we'll have the links to it in, in here and everything, but... Um, yeah, well, I have a various workout programs. Um, the entire to tell is diet. That's for people that you know want to. It's it's a program. You'll get shredded in six weeks. You follow all the principles in there. Um, but yeah, it just it, you know whether it be health and fitness, you know all these different realms where people want to get successful and usually end up failing. Uh, pick up. They're all related. Um, that's why you know real quick the pick up forums. You know, those really aren't a good place to learn. I was looking at one, I briefly looked at one uh, before. Um, I don't know, I just, I just clicked on it. And again, it's people, it's the blind leading the blind. You know, people who don't get results mingling with people who don't get results. And then this is why you see people who don't get results just um, stagnating. And stagnating and before you know it, it's five, six years later and holy shit, I'm in the, you know, they're in the same spot as they were five years ago. They're just a little broker, a little older and a little fatter. Um, if you want to get real results, streamline that process, um, make whatever game you're playing in as efficient as possible, you need to commit to change, you need to make the decision, okay, I'm going to change this aspect of my life, I'm not going back, and I'm going to win no matter what. If that means I need to cut off old friends that are stagnant and not moving anywhere and they're essentially dying, then I'm going to do that and I'm going to seek out and associate with new people, new friends that are on the path, the path that I want to go down, that are on that same journey or are more successful than me along that journey, and I'm going to align with them. And that's how winning's done. You align with winners. Winners align with winners, losers align with losers. Yeah, and I think, see what I've seen in the pickup world is a lot of these dudes like want to put in the time, they're putting the time in the wrong places. Mm -hmm. Like they're watching a bunch of videos that aren't helping the results, they're doing a bunch, they're, like the, the typical problem in the community is you've got like a whole guys, a whole bunch of guys going out doing a thousand approaches, doing a thousand nights out, and they're practicing a lot of this RSD stuff, which isn't yeah. getting them any better. So it's just mm -hmm. reinforcing bad behaviors. Like the hardest clients I've had that have come to me for coaching are guys that have been like wired with all the, all the wrong mindsets. Yeah. So like there's, there's a whole lot of work so to just be to done. say. How much theory, how many videos did you and I sit down and watch? How much theory did we discuss regarding bodybuilding? Did we do any? Zero. No, no. Zero. We just, you know, you came into town, boom, you know, have a couple drinks, have dinner. Okay, great. We start tomorrow, brother. And then that's what we did. We just, we got in there and it's just been a learning process. And like you said, only, you know, about two weeks in and you're already doing great. Yeah, I, mean, I started 195 pounds. I'm six foot four uh, for the European people, 193 centimeters. And uh, 195 pounds, I think it's like 92 kilograms or something like that. Um, and now two weeks in, I'm right around 205. I thought it was 209 the other day, but it, it, it fluctuates based on what I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. Mm -hmm. It fluctuates based on water weight and time of day, if I've eaten meals and stuff. But it, it's, I've gained about 10 pounds. I'm at like 14% body fat. And the goal is uh, 230 to 240 pounds at about 10% body fat. Mm -hmm. And we're shooting three months as, a, as an aggressive goal, but maybe closer to five or six. But even still, if you guys can't devote six months to transforming your physique, and it, it, would, it would happen even quicker with pickup, 
like guys come on night one of my programs or, or week one of having my product and they're already starting to have a massive leveling up because I'm telling them exactly how to how to do shit as you see on the channel like here's how you do it yeah obviously I mean there's a lot there's a lot of stuff to learn with pickup there's a lot of stuff to learn with game and this is why my emphasis since day one has been yeah it's great to learn all that stuff but here's the thing if you are lacking in the looks or physical development at, uh, department it's going to significantly hold you back with your results and I've seen this you know I've lived in you know several cities throughout the US I've traveled in many different cities I've uh, you know, I've seen the nightlife in many different cities. Um, I see, you know, there's always like a pickup crowd or a pickup crew, and it's usually it's the same guys. You know, they might be overweight, skinny, fat, overall frail in physique, breakable, and they're doing cold approach and trying to stop these girls, and they're not getting results, and they think it has something to do with their opener, their opener, or they weren't in in the right state, state. of mind, yeah, state. Um, their game was off. It wasn't their their game wasn't off. Their face was off. Their <laughs> physique was off. You know these are things. You know these can be deal breakers for chicks. Um, and you significantly that's what pickup is. That's what game is. It's playing. It, you know you want to win a game. You want to win at any game in life, not just game. You have to play the game with the odds in your favor. Okay. The way you make the way you make the odds go in your favor when it comes to you know hitting up chicks. Obviously, playing the numbers game, talking to a lot of chicks, and maximizing your physical attractiveness. All right, so let's break this down into steps. Basically, the first step is you want to commit to lasting change. Um, you have to really kind of just say like, starting today, I'm going to master pickup. Starting today, I'm going to make a bunch of money in business. Starting today, I'm going to get a good physique. And you have to like place that goal above everything else. You can't you can't start skipping days in the gym. You can't skip you know requisite things you need to learn about in business from the experts or requisite things you need to learn about pick up from the experts. You can't do half measures. That's what everyone else is doing. There's some statistic that says like even when people buy products and stuff, like they only go through like five percent or ten percent. Or, or I think no, only five percent of the people will. Well, I take action or something. It's just well, that's even, you know, most books, when people get books from either a bookstore or a Costco or something, you know, they might look at it for a couple pages and then the thing just ends up collecting dust in the corner. Yeah. So, you, okay, so step one, commit to the fucking thing you want to do and you, it has to be a priority for you. Number two, you have to surround yourself with experts. Mm -hmm. So, in the game world, I gave you those experts in that video. Uh, people like Sonny for Fitness, and he's got other resources on his site besides himself. Um, for business, you really got to, you know, if you want to do internet marketing, that's the common one that a lot of people do is because you can work from home and uh, it's pretty much a skill game, just like, just like game and these other things. But whatever it is you want to learn in business, you got to go find those top experts, network with them. You can do that at conferences and stuff like that or on the forums. And then you need to have them teach you certain things. And if you can give them some kind of value in return, whether it be payment directly or whatever it may be, um, you don't want to be learning from people that aren't at the place where you want to be. Like you don't want you don't want to just go to some dude that's like a little bit built and be like, hey, teach me how to That's what how to get strong. most personal trainers in a gym. Yeah, exactly. I remember I was Or in, most uh, coaches in the community too. Yeah, you know most I remember one time I, I was going to uh was a lifetime fitness in Austin, first time I signed up there. That's and the guy that's like your favorite gym in the world or whatever? It is, yes. <laughs> uh and one of them. Um one of the guy who was signing me up, he was also one of the trainers there and he was offering me uh you know, if I wanted personal training services, and the kid, he was a low testosterone little dope boy, and I was just like, I was very polite, I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm good, I think I got it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you don't want to learn from people who um, aren't experts and aren't where you want to be. A big one is the, the pickup stuff, that is, most of the guys in the, the pickup world, um, and I know this just from what I've seen in the scene, and you know, being in all these cities, living in Vegas for a year. Uh, you saw a lot of the instructors. Uh, yeah, I mean, and that's a whole other story. I mean, with the the infield videos, you know, everything seems to go right on the uh, on the staged infield videos, but then when you see them in person, they're pulling, you know, like fucking Mexican gutter trash. You know, it does the the two don't align. Can I say that? Um, <laughs> sure, it's fine. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, it's the truth. It really is the truth. Um, yeah, but you have to, you know, I'll tell you something from my own uh, personal life. Um, and I won't mention names or anything, but, you know, I, things are really aligned for me um, in a lot of ways that yeah, I won't talk about right now. 
Um, and some tough decisions need to be made. Um, people that I think are dead weight, that are stagnant, who are um, really aren't going anywhere, you know, they've kind of been cut out of my life. Um, and that's just what you have to do. Um, life is too short to, to kind of have these people around that aren't helping you. You know, life, it's, it's very short. Um, you know, it seems like just yesterday I was 21, 22 years old, and now I'm 28 going on 29. Um, uh, you know, you have to, and that's been my mantra, and it's a mantra that um, I've given to my audience on my site, move fast. You have to make moves, make those moves fast. Whatever you think is ultimately going to make you happy, um, and he's mentioned three right there, making more money, getting more chicks, um, getting more, uh, getting more built, more physically attractive. You know, these are three big goals. These are goals that pretty much every guy around has, and for some, re you know, for the same reasons, most of them fail at one or more or even all of these things because they don't make that commitment to change. You know, if you were, if you were really serious about making more money, okay. You would be friends. You would be befriending people who had money. You would be ed self educating yourself on how to make money, and you wouldn't be wasting time. Every single aspect of your day would be geared towards making money. Same thing when it comes to, and the two are interrelated. Fitness and pickup, they're interrelated. Okay, if you really wanted to get either more chicks or higher quality chicks, you wouldn't be making the same mistakes over and over again. You wouldn't be your same. If this is you, the same low value self you were three, four years ago, um, you wouldn't be that same person now. You would be maximizing every aspect of value that matters in the game. You know, getting chicks, it's a business. It's cold business. That's what it is. It's, it is a business, okay? There are certain metrics of value that have, that mean something in this business. The more of those things that you bring to the table, the easier, <clears throat> the easier the dating game will be for you. Okay, so you have to be committed to doing all of those things. Yep. Yeah, and the, the cool thing is too is that once you master pick up, like for the rest of your life, like when you see yeah. a hot chick out, you can get that chick. Yeah. Um, if you master business, you break out of the nine to five. You can work less hours. You can travel. Mm -hmm. You can afford nice meals and all kinds of stuff. Like any any kind of stuff that you guys avoid now because you don't have the money for it. All that goes away once you master business. Yeah, and you're working harder. Like working for yourself is a lot easier than working for somebody else. So you guys are working harder. It's like work smarter, not harder. Is the is the principle. And same with the gym. Like, mm -hmm. what's it going to take us three to six months? I'm gonna work, I'm gonna work hard during during those three to six months. But then I'm gonna be at that point. I just need to maintain it. Yeah. So you're essentially you're skipping what I did from 2006. During 2006 and 2007, even parts of 2008. No, you're not doing that. You're gonna do what I was doing from 2008 to 2011, 2012. All those principles that I learned in there. Cause my physique, it pretty much, you know, it maxed out probably around 2012. Um, now it's just it's been a matter of it's gotten a little denser, a little bit more 3D looking. But for the most part, you know, that base, that size that I've ever worn, all the size I've ever worn, and I've had it since 2012. So there's nothing new that. I've really developed just you know little tw little tweaks uh, here and there, but um, yeah. So I'll, I'll get we can maybe close with I'll get them a little bit more specifics about what I'm doing mm -hmm. in the gym. So I'm eating like five big meals a day, like the the main meals are like or the main foods are uh, steak, eggs, uh, lean chicken, lean turkey, lean fish, brown rice, broccoli, sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. um, oatmeal. It is. It's awesome. because it's the carbs. Almond it's milk, the, almonds. Yeah. What else? I'm trying to think. The war. The big thing. What you were trying to emphasize is really it's that sleep and that water. Because prior, you know, we were messaging. I was shocked at how little water. And it's not just you. I mean, a lot. Most people are chronically dehydrated. Um, yeah, and I'm most, drinking. What is it? Twenty-three a gallon is like twenty-three eight-ounce cups a day. It's something like twenty-three. No, maybe it's sixteen. I think it's sixteen. Something like. That. Anyway, but yeah, you know. That's another thing, you know, if you're committed to, if you want to commit to, you know, getting more jacked, getting bigger, big, bigger muscles, you have to do all these little things, right? It's not even little things, it's these little things that end up being the big things, you know, water. Most people overlook the water. Well, your water, your muscles are made of a uh, majority of 
water, sleep, you need to recover. You mentioned the brown rice and the sweet potatoes and things like that. It's the carbs. Believe it or not, when it comes to building muscle, it's actually it's those clean carbs that are actually more important than the protein. So doing all those things, that's what it is. It's all, you know, long-term success in anything. It's it's the it's a manifestation of just day in and day out, all these small little micro victories along the way, and then that's how that's how winning's done. I have another um, uh, one of my long-term readers on my site. Um, I'll put I'll put that post up uh, probably Tuesday or Wednesday next week. You should see it. Uh, what is it? 2000 summer 2016. I, I haven't heard from him, but this is how winning's done. I haven't heard from him. He didn't make any announcements. He didn't tell me what he was doing. Just behind, and he quit the internet for the most part. Didn't have social media. And behind the scenes, what did he do? He was working his ass off, fucking slugging away in the gym, training like an animal, and he literally went from scrawny to brawny. He looks like a skinny teenager twink, summer 2016, and now, fucking dude, he's built like a tank. He's yoked. Why? Because he put the work in, in the shadows. There weren't any, no social media posts, no validation, nothing. He just put the work in, and he shocked the world. That's what it is. Put in the work and shock the world. And that's what we're doing right now with Jay Wolf here. Yep. With the lifts, I'm tracking each week, and then we're going up either in, in an amount of reps or the amount yeah. lifted. Mm -hmm. So it's constantly overloading the system. Yeah. And it's cool. Like we're only, at, we're only at the end of week two, but I, all yeah. my lifts went up mm -hmm. from week one, and, that's, and it's going to keep progressing like yeah. that. Yeah, the only thing that didn't go up and went down a little was that incline bench and flat dumbbell press and we have a feeling that was because maybe we need a little bit more rest because that last thing that we trained um, the front delts were probably the front delts were probably still a little bit sh sore because a couple days prior to that we hit shoulders pretty hard and you know doing the shoulder presses for the first time so it might take a little bit longer for them to get acclimated but uh, other than that yeah um, every lift has gone up so far um, some of them more than others um, and that's what it is you know goes up a little well a couple months down the road you know that's gonna compound and those lifts will be up a lot. And even then we'll we'll add different things in to switch up the intensity. Maybe we'll add in some supersets, maybe drop sets, giant sets, um, anything, you know, maybe more volume, um, anything to really shock the muscle. That's what that's what newbie gains are, you're shocking the muscle. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm taking a picture every week, uh, shirtless, and I'm also trying to take a picture of every single meal. And my workout plan, and at the end, we're gonna have a video editor like put it all together into a montage and just yeah. see me kind of transform over three months. So, yeah. do you have any final thoughts? No, that's it. I mean, obviously, thank big thank you to J Mo for you know having me on as a guest here. Um, I know this is a pickup uh, channel. I would just say one final thought is that you know, obviously, he's got a lot of great info, um, just with a specific focus on the pickup stuff. But as far as maximizing. Um, your overall physical appeal, the game is going to be a lot easier. And I know because I go into this in my, yeah. in my book. Yeah, I wrote a book. It's called The Tyrants and Tellers. It was it was a best in three separate categories: um, health and fitness, uh, gender studies, and men's gender studies. It's out now on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle and paperback. Chemically and culturally, there is a war on men, and you are a part of that, whether you know it or not. Um, this is what you've seen since the 1950s and the 1960s. Men have become far less masculine and far more feminine. Culturally, this is this is a war waged on men via the media, music, television shows, movies, everything you can imagine in the culture. It's geared towards vilifying men and promoting this idea of the soft beta male. Culturally, this is taking place too because due to all the chemicals, all the estrogen enhancing products um, in the food, the water, the air. Um, what you have now, throughout the whole PUA industry, um, you have um, an audience that, a, a predominantly beta male audience, and there's a lot of things leading to this. The, the vilification of men via the culture, a lot of guys in the PUA community grew up without a strong masculine father figure. Um, a lot of them raised by single moms and beta male dads. Um, that may be you. Um, my challenge to you, or my main advice to say to you is become as masculine as possible and that starts with taking control of your physique. Going from breakable to unbreakable. And if you want, check out my site strengthbysunny.com. I have, obviously, 
a big focus on the health and fitness stuff. I also, I, I dabble in other things, but I have a section on there where you can purchase diet plans uh, and workout routines. These are downloadable PDFs based off of my 12 plus years of experience in the gym. And Jay Wolf will include the links to those in this video. But other than that, thank you to you guys for listening. Obviously, thank you. To you, Jay Mo, for having me on as a guest, and I uh, look forward to. We'll be, yeah, we'll be doing a bunch more videos yeah. together because we're going to be training for months. Um, one thing to add about if you if you doubt the value of physique, we went to was in 2013. Uh, he came to visit me in Vegas. We went yeah. to a, a pool party, and he literally had chicks that were above a nine out of ten approaching yeah. him, staring yeah. at him, approaching him. Cause you were like probably the biggest dude there. Yeah, I mean. You know, people ask. Well, I, how I, was, do you, I was shocked because you didn't have to even open these chicks. And yeah, they were opening him. They want they wanted to fuck him in there. And these yeah, people like, they've asked me, "What's your Sonny? What's your game when you go to uh, when you're in Vegas? <laughs> Take my shirt off and walk around Encore <laughs> Beach Club or Wet Republic or any other pool party in Vegas where there's tons of hot chicks. I want to get fucking quaked out. All right. <laughs> same with like your Tinder main pick and shit too. Like same. Yeah, exactly. Same yeah, exactly. You want to make the game easy on yourself, obviously. The stuff he has to teach, it's incredible, all that stuff. Now all you gotta do, add it with getting as physically attractive as possible. You do that, you and take rich his- as rich as possible. Yeah, get as rich as possible, become as socially savvy and charismatic as possible, and get, and build yourself up to be as jacked and as good looking as possible, looks, money, status, you will be playing the game on Easy Street. It would be like hunting a bunch of midgets in a fucking high school gymnasium with the bazooka, fishing with <laughs> Dynamite. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. Companies like RSD, they, they kind of promote the idea. They say like we're all cut from the same cloth. No one has an advantage based on looks. And so a lot of guys are like, fuck the gym, or they or they think like, uh, yeah. fuck showering, or fuck trimming my beard, or mm -hmm. brushing my teeth, whatever like that. And and chicks like straight up, no matter how good your game is, if you're disheveled or if like, you you refer to it as like yeah. sloppiness all the time, if you're wearing shitty clothes, you have a shitty haircut, if you. Yeah. You know, if you're fucking broke, living at your, at your parents' house, all that, all that shit can be corrected. Mm -hmm. So correct it. Be the best man you can be. Optimize everything. Yeah. And don't settle for, you know, second best or, or middle of the pack. Yeah. Like, always strive. Like I, my goal is always to like rise to the top of the pickup industry, or just to rise to the top of the fitness industry, right? Yeah. Be, try to try to make you know don't, even even at this level, I'm still optimizing a bunch of stuff and fixing a bunch of holes in the game. You're still trying to tweak things with fitness. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't let that hunger ever die. Once you get complacent and you think you're good mm -hmm. enough, then that's that's where all the progress stops. Mm -hmm. So, with that, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, expect a lot more good shit from us to come. All right, later. All right.